Good evening, Chief Hacking Officer speaking. Who is this? Oh, well, I am your most recent interest, Radhika. Wow, the Prodigy CEO, it's amazing. I, I honestly, I gotta say I'm a fan. To what do I owe the honor? I see you've had your dose of fun already. You've obliterated my carefully designed defenses. Congratulations. Before you proceed though, I'd like to like you to hear me out. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Here's the problem. I know this is bad for me either way. I should just hang up, do the thing. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it because I am an idiot. Sure, sure, give me your supervillain speech. Oh, I'm sure you had a picture of me as a villain to justify whatever price you two paid for your crusade. But we both know there are no villains in this game. We're the same. We both use every means at our disposal to make the world a better place. The only thing that's different are our visions. The vision is the most essential and most important difference. Ah, uh, no. Actually, here's the thing. If you talk to three people and tell them the same exact story, you will get three different answers of what exactly the said story meant. Now, might be the same. You could take Cinderella, for example. One, but a hapless girl who gets lucky, managed to... Why, uh, managed to save the day or get everything she wished for just by wishing upon a star. You could talk to somebody that, you know, thought Cinderella was a, uh, was a model, role model. That, yeah, she put up her, with a lot of shit, had to work day in, day out, and things in situations that she didn't need to. She found an out. She did it. She, she used the out, and she got exactly what she needed. And then there's another person that said, well, Cinderella's crazy. She talked to mice all day, take the house, and somehow or another, wore glass slippers, which, let's be honest, is going to be bad on your feet. Okay, so here's the thing. I will consider yourself justified. What do you want? I want a chance to hear me out. I want to save the world. Aha! Wow, you are really 15 years old, huh? But you know what? That's the first thing you said that I liked. I too wish to save the world. Are you a teenager too? Ah, uh, no, no, no. I'm young though. I look and sound older, but I am 24. Ah, uh, kids these days. Never found an adult who didn't laugh at the concept of saving the world. How do you plan to do it? Here's the thing. How do you save the world? By stopping the evil corporations like yours. Uh, my corporation may or may not be evil. It's all in the eye of the beholder. I want to bring down the system. Or I do just not know what I want to do. How, do, how does one make a perfect world? I don't know. I spent all my short life thinking about how to save the world. At least give some consideration to the solution of super cultivated mind reach after a decade of careful evaluation, won't you? Okay. Okay. I am curious. Explain. Fear and hate, those are humanity's heaviest chains. We spend an absurd amount of time and resources trying to protect ourselves from each other. Not only is the interest of security, but also of achieving superiority. Energetically, abnormality, economically, and even culturally. We want our new identity to dominate the rest. Race, sexuality, gender, religion, ideology. After careful examination of all, all these principles, I've reached the conclusion that all this animosity is not derived from morals objective judgment or anything like that but from fear domination is primal survival now i'm eager to find out how all of this is going to be linked to the brainwashing 
Tell me. It's not brainwashing, and I can prove it to you. Okay. Social psyche welfare is a combination. The mirror neuro mirror neuron algorithm is specifically designed to remove that animosity. But not by making you numb or enforce mindless acceptance. It's going to eradicate irrationality, phobias, and individ not individuality. Ah, yes. But here's the thing, my tiny young child who's a super genius, possibly evil, and possibly... What about to throw me out of the roof? We have three options. Hate is a huge part of one's identity. It is, oh, in a way, it is part of us, but it is not a major modifier. For most, I will say for most, there are people that just live off hate and fuck them. Anyways, fear does not beget hate. It's a basic survival mechanism, which is true. So, you should not impose this, you should teach it. But, let me finish. People will still be able to debate, to rebel, to get angry at each other, to cry, to love, to have secrets, to yell at the TV. It's only that none of them will come from a position of fear. I know what that means, because... You can be angry, but not fearful. And it's a thing. But how... Could you know all of this with so little experience? But it doesn't matter what I say. Here's the thing. I'm, I've fallen into a trap and I am fucked. In a society like that, we could gradually eliminate weapons, borders, violence, enforcement from police and other institutions. We can eliminate poverty, inequality, the race of economic dominance. And with that, we can stop barbarism like the destruction of the planet just because the sun and wind aren't marketable resource energy. Just imagine. The world's budget and weapons and every other form of suppression spent on service of humanity. The efforts spent on keeping each other in check redirected towards science and cultural pro progress. We can literally aim for the stars. Humanity's utopian uh, dream wouldn't just be a fantasy more. Yeah, a bit ironic to remove humanity from the equation, don't you think? Which is funny. Because I don't get to say anything. You're super hip, charismatic, funny, and smart. Why, thank you. Thank you very much. Do you consider yourself human? Do you think you have all those qualities required to make one human? Absolutely. I am superhuman. Well, you should know that... You're under the effect of SBW right now. Yeah, what, huh? No, 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 I don't think so. Oh, yes. Yes, you are. Like every other neuro hacker in this city has been for weeks now. No, no fucking way. You're, you're gonna pay for this. Whoa, that escalated quickly. SBW doesn't seem to have turned turned you into an obedient puppy, huh? No, you're lying. You're lying. Yeah, I, look, I wouldn't be here. About to stop your precious plan to save the other world otherwise. I told you, but you're not a puppet. In fact, you're at your peak right now. As Diana May said, you've accessed your better self. If you don't believe me, allow me to free you from your SBW for just, just one second. This can be a bit shocking, so please, brace yourself. That's all the anger. Anxiety, regret, all the products of fear that SBW has been filtering out of you these last few weeks. I've heard they've been quite traumatic. I'm sorry. But you didn't feel like you'd lost a single bit of humanity, right? Ah, <laughs> please make it stop. I give up. No, fuck to the you. Why? Weren't these, weren't these days especially happy? You got to play your rebel game and feel the adrenaline and worry about your friends and everything. The difference is that all of this was born from love, not fear. That's why it was so enjoyable and built up to something great. You achieved a lot and look at where you are. I will fucking resist. I will never not resist. You stood there? Oh, what a tough guy. 
I'm sorry, but the backlash from disabling SBW can be quite strong. You better just lay down and let it happen. Our security forces will accompany you to the exit shortly. Come on. Just give up. This is just too much for your brain to deal with right now. I will never not stop. I will never... No, I will never stop resisting. I said shut the... F no. I'm... Look, I... I can keep this up, okay? I know what the game wants me to do. Here's the problem. Can't. I'm, I'm not. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop. People have told me to... I, if someone tells me to die and give up, no, fuck that. Oh, I'm sorry. Since you were so adamant about free will and all that, I've decided to let you off the hook from SBW. What do you think? It's great, huh? It's a shame that you won't be able to focus and stop the MNA now. No. Radius! Damn it! I should not have answered this phone! I was gonna answer the phone anyways, don't worry. How do I move? I need to move. I need to do something. No! Come back here, you son of a- Donovan! Donovan! Get your ass over here! Help me! Can't breathe! Hey, hey man, you can get fine! Look, don't let Rad get to you. You're one step away from everything. Uh, she's right. Ah. Look. She is not right, okay? She was my friend. And I haven't shed a single tear. Alright. Yeah. SBW had you brainwashed. Now you're free, man. The thing is, I prefer her that version of me who doesn't cry. I can't stand this, man. Why did she die? have to die like that? Why do we have to keep fighting? Why do I have to do this? I don't want to fight anymore. I just can't do this, Donovan. Radius, Radius, please, I need you, man. I need you. We all need you. You're our hero. I know you're tired, hurt. I know you're depressed. I know. I know it. Since this, I've known it since all this mess started. But you're so close to stopping it all, man. You're just hours away from the much-deserved holiday. What, what, what holiday? You, I, you can't even leave the club. Ah, yeah. No, okay. Sorry, man. I shouldn't have said that. God, what am I doing? I, look, I will be... Look. I will admit when I'm wrong. I will admit every time I have fucked up. Oh, the controller's moving because I'm... Wait, I will be fine. I will talk to Donald. Hey, I'm not a hero, man. I'm just a clown. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just a fake who takes advantage of my friends. I have no talent. I barely know how to code. I just run other hacker scripts, man. Hey, 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 hey. Focus, focus. First off, I know that feeling. Makes you feel like you're not yourself. Makes you feel that you're living a lie. Here's the thing about that. Here's the thing. It is more, more pronounced in those that are a bit more intelligent. You think that you're a person, you're the imper imposter syndrome. You think that you what you do is not good enough. That you someday, somebody, somewhere will find out that you are just making this shit up as you go along. Look, look at what you at, man. The fucking top of the world, and you all got us here. All of us who've been fighting for this, you sacrificed so much, yourself included. Imposter syndrome, my ass. I will admit emotions. I will. F I, dude, I'm scared, man. I'm just a kid. Half the time, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm just doing the tough guy acts that you discover. You won't discover I'm an imposter. I took this too far this time and it failed you. I, I can't do this, Donnie. Radius, I will back smack you upside the fucking head. You're not an imposter, man. What does that even mean? It's natural to be scared of a time like this. You're about to change history. 
You can't fool me. I'm specialized in reading people. And what I see inside of you isn't fake. Of course, I know that under the carefree attitude, half the time, you're nervous, you're scared, kind of an idiot. Don't worry. But there's something in your essence so true that I have never found in anybody else. You're a fucking hero, man. You pretend like it's all a game, but your heart is so pure. It makes me cry. I know you want everybody to be happy and to stop suffering. You genuinely do. And that's why I love you so fucking much, man. Donnie. I love you, man. Now go teach him the lesson. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Radka. Radhika, you still there? Huh? You recovered? How? How is this possible? Oh, yeah, no, don't worry about it. See, you may have the power of a science, technology, and brainwashing, but I have the power of my friend. Also, a bartender who talks to spirits. And my friends. Look, sometimes things just don't go the way you plan them. My suggestion now is that you find a comfy seat near a window. What? Why? I'll to enjoy the fireworks. What did you do? You did it, Brandius. I'm so glad. Oh! Don't be afraid. Ah, uh, <laughs> I am afraid. I will leave this for the next episode because this seems so much fun. Now, as with all of these episodes, we may talk a, a bit. We talk a bit about things that are a bit hard to hear sometimes. Let me know what you think down below. Given his position, would you do the same? Would you have completely destroyed it? Would you have sabotaged the people and places that could have destroyed Supercontinent? Are they truly evil? I want to, I want to know what you think. My opinions expressed here are my own. I've lived my life, but I have not lived yours. Let me know. I hope you have a good day. I hope you have a good night. And I'll see you tomorrow. Later.